if I wanted to be the all-time greatest 80-year-old three-point basketball shooter in the world and I wanted to take lessons, I'd, I'd set up a, a meeting with, with Caitlin Clark and Seth Curry and say, teach me how to shoot three-pointers. Well, I'm not probably going to do that. If I want to pick the best stocks in the United States for the next coming years, I think I need to go to those stocks that are doing the best in the past year and see what they're doing and see what they have in common and see if I can learn from it so that I can pick the best stocks in the coming years. So what I did was go to this uh, scanner and I said, okay, who are the, uh, in the United States, I want uh, uh, companies that have above a market cap of Two, uh, 250 million. I want them to be profitable. So they have a PE ratio of one or 0.1 or above. And of course, it shows me Microsoft, Apple, NVIDIA, you know the list. So then what I said was, give me those that are doing the best over the last year, because I want to be current. So here is the list they gave me, and I'm going to deal with the top six. I know Supermicro. Uh, it's in my bus uh, 13 portfolio. I know Vertiv. It's in my bus 13 portfolio. I do not know Giga Cloud Technology. I don't know MicroStrategy. I don't know uh, App Lovin. And I, but I do know Modine. It's also in my bus 12 portfolio. So what I wanted to do was then gather some information on them so that possibly I could learn what do all these stocks have in common that could give me a clue as to what's going to happen in the future. So I brought, I brought it down to those six stocks. And what you can see computer storage, information technology, technology service, computer software, technology service, and auto truck and original equipment manufacturers. I happen to know they manufacture cooling systems for data centers because I know that stock. I do not know these three. Vertiv also uh, makes uh, the uh, racks and the some of the cooling systems within uh, data centers. And we all know uh, Supermax. They make they put all the parts in the box that, that is the, the supercomputer that goes into uh, the data center. So we know that. So where do we go from there? Well, let's go deeper and see how they got to this level of returns, 752% uh, to 342%. Let's see what they have in common. If you've seen some of my most recent videos, you know that I am of the belief that a company is successful, number one, when its revenues grow, but more importantly, when they make profits and when those earnings are on an, an up upward spiral. And as those earnings are in an upward spiral, it pulls the stock price up as well. What I want to know, what is the relationship? In, in other words, for every percentage point that the earnings go up, what is the percentage that the uh, stock price goes up? And then if I can figure that out, and then I can take the projections of what their earnings are going to be over the next two years, and I've got that equation, I can pretty well predict what the price of the stock is going to be in the next two years. Let's use super macro as, as an example. This is their earnings, the percent of increase, well, this is their earnings here in this second line, uh, year over year. This is their percentage of increase. Down here, I have their price, their price in, uh, increase, such as from 2016, um, their price was, went up in 2016, 14.4, and then it dropped 25% in 2017, another 25% in 2018, zero. And then in 2020, it went up 100 then 38, then 86, then 264 this last year, and thus far this year, 234. That's 246 and 234. So then what I said was, what is the relationship between this number and this number? 
They rise in their earnings relative to the rise in their uh, in their stock price. And what I find is the average rise of their earnings over that period of time, back going back to uh, 2009, is 37%, and the rise in their uh, uh, stock price is 59. So putting those two numbers together, that says that for a rise in in um, of it, looking at 2025, for a rise of uh, earnings of 8%, they're going to get uh, a boost of 58%. And so that number is 158. So I look at their uh, their rise, their their earnings. They're going from 12 to 12.99. That tells me that Super Macro's price in 20 uh, from 2024 to 2025 will go up 13 percent. Now they're projecting a 18 percent rise in 2026. So again, using that same equation, that will equate to a increase in price of 29%. So I'm predicting their price will be $1,377 at the close of business on December uh, the 31st or December the 30th, uh, 2016. That gives them a two-year increase of 46.32%. I got to decide if that's good enough for me. So I've done the same thing on Vertiv. Uh, again, they only get uh, 13% of the increase in their um, in their earnings, so it's showing up in their price. So they've got a 24 or 25 and a 24% increase. So that says they're only going to get a 3% increase. Uh, in their price in 2025 and 2026. Then I come down to uh, the other one that's in my portfolio, and that's Modine. Now they get a a 44% bonus from earnings to price. So their price is going to go from 92 based on an increase in uh, earnings of 21%, they'll get a 25% bus or boost. They'll, uh, with a 21%, they'll get a 30%. So I will get over two years a 61% increase in uh, in earnings. So then I go to the three stocks that I don't know. I, I was not aware of them. GCT, not, I don't hear this, global cloud technology. I don't know what they do, but this it, they've only been around uh, trading on the open market since uh, 2023. In 2023, they had a rise in their stock price of 222%, and thus far this year, they're up 70%. Their earnings went up 283 and, and uh, 26%. So as we project forward, they're projecting an increase in earnings of 25 and 24% in 25 and 26. It tells me that they're going to get in price, they're going to get 94% of that coming to their their to their uh, stock price. So in 25 the price will go from uh, 3358 to 4153 and then from 4153 to 51. So I'll get a 52% uh, increase over two years. Now we come to uh, MicroStrategy Incorporated. Again, I do not know what they do. So I go ahead and I, and I gather the data and I, I determine what their increase in their, their earnings has been and what their increase in their stock price has been and come up with an average. So for every 40% that the earnings go up, the stock price goes up 140%. That's a big bonus. As you can see, that equates to a increase in in uh, from earnings to stock price of 347%. So this stock is currently selling for $1,528 based on its projected growth in 25 of 43.3%, it their stock price will go up 150%. In other words, it'll be $3,823. And then again, on its projected growth in its earnings of 93%, it will grow in 2026 
from 3,800 to 16,200. And $64. Again, I know nothing about this company, but what I'm showing you is the process I go through to find companies to find out if after I dig into them deeper, is this, is this really going to happen? Am if I buy it today at $1,528, is my share price going to be $16,264 on the close of business of uh, 2026? I don't know yet. I know that means if it is, I will have a 964% gain. I have to learn if this is real or not. Now, again, then the other one we looked at is Apollon or App Lovin. Uh, again, I don't know what they do, but again, I do the same math, and it tells me that it's equation for for return or for uh, gain in uh, earnings to gain in stock price is an 84% multiple. So with them telling me that they're going to, in, in uh, 2025, have a 27% increase in earnings, I can equate then, they're going to have a 23% because it's 84 uh, increase in price of stock, and then a 23% again in uh, 2026. That gives me a 51% over the two years. I then have to, again, determine, is this real or is it, you know, hope and, hope and pray and make my decisions again? Is this valid? I believe it is. I believe if I own a company and I can increase revenues, that's great. But if I'm not making any profit, if I'm not increasing my earnings per share, I'm not doing anything for my stockholders, and so it's not sustainable. So I believe the most important number that we can, we can dig into is earnings per share and projected earnings per share. And unlike in most businesses or sports activities, they don't tell us what, what the future earnings are. Uh, and I just don't think there's anything better to do it. So that's how I work my system. This is, if this is, if you want to see up here, you'll see I've done this for every stock in the uh, bus 12 and plus 13. And I come up with how much I'm going to make over two years. I then go over here and I say, okay, from in my portfolio, uh, what percentage of my portfolio do I want allocated to any one of these stocks based on their return? If they're going to give me 103% over the next two years, I want 4%. But if, again, if they're only going to give me 5.34, I don't want any. I Well, there I have 0.1%. So that's how I equate or how I evaluate stocks. If you want access to this on a daily basis, you need to join our group. It's bestofusinvestors.com and it's our platinum level. Um, and for the next day, let's see, we, we stop the coup value of the coupon, which is a 50% uh, off or $60 a month. You get it for $30 for the next 90 days, but that coupon becomes null and void at the close uh, or at midnight on Sunday. So if you want into this and you want to, to get access to whether I actually believe that, uh, what is the name of the company? Macro... Let me pull it over there. Uh, Micro Strategies Incorporated. Is it really going to give us 964%? And then the other question is, let's go back to here. What about these? What about these guys who are, uh, who are making uh, 279%? Is that something we want to invest in? There's NVIDIA. You know NVIDIA. Uh, so that's how I, here's one, Inter, Inter, uh, I-N-T-R. They're up 213% in the last year. Is that something I want to be involved in? And it looks like it's a $5.77 stock. I will research that and I'll make a decision.
If you want to play this game or no, if you want to win the game, come get on the bus. Come join our tribe and I'll feed, I'll I'll get you access to all this information. And what I'm eventually going to do is hire someone to put this on an app so that it can be on your computer and you can enter stocks and get this re, get these numbers to show up automatically. So all you have to do is enter a ticker symbol here and all these spaces fill out and all these numbers come out. So if you've got the time, you can research a thousand stocks in a day. Or you could just upload the whole S&P 500, click a button, and if your computer's strong enough, you can do this analysis. Once I get this app built, and what, I, what, what do I have to do to get this app built? I got to get about 10,000 people subscribed to this service. Why is that? Because I got to hire probably a minimum of seven people to do this work for me and they aren't going to come cheap but what it's going to do is it's going to give me the opportunity to take on wall street toe to toe and beat the shit out of them because i can act faster they can't if they decide they want to take a position in macro strategy at one thousand five hundred and seventeen dollars per share it's going to take them a year because if they dump $40 million or $40 billion of their $2 trillion portfolio into that stock, it's going to drive it through the roof. But if they drip into it, knowing what I know and what you now know, or we suspect, they can do it in a year. We can do it in a day. I can put, I can put 5% of my portfolio in that in a day and no one will notice. All right. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm a retired financial advisor. Uh, I, I'm, I'm having the time of my life doing this work and studying the stock market and making money. Uh, I want you to, to, to go look at the stocks that I have bought. Look, look at, go, as, well, you know, I bought uh, Supermicro, I have bought Vertiv, I have bought Montmodine, and they're growing crazy because they're in the right sector of the market. They're into uh, data centers, they're into semiconductors, and they're in AI. And I know how to research. I'll talk to you again tomorrow.